I'm going to give you a lesson in bikini medicine, but it's not as fun as it sounds. Bikini medicine is the theory that male and female bodies are the same, except for the areas a bikini would cover. It's a very handy theory. For example, if you were testing a new drug, you'd only have to test it on male clinical trial participants, because theoretically, the drug would work the same in female bodies. Well then, what's the issue? Well, unfortunately, that theory is completely wrong. Female bodies are fundamentally different to male bodies. It starts at the level of our DNA. Every cell contains XX chromosomes, whereas male cells contain XY chromosomes. And beyond the obvious anatomical differences, there are countless invisible differences. For example, females have stronger immune responses generally, so we're better at fighting off infections, but we're more susceptible to autoimmune disease. And female hearts are smaller, but beyond the size difference, they actually beat differently too. So on average, it takes female heart muscle longer to contract and then recover. So then what happens? Well, when you make assumptions about female bodies in medical research, it gets dangerous. Females are nearly twice as likely to have adverse drug reactions. And that's because a lot of drugs were tested only on male clinical trial participants. We're slowly moving away from bikini medicine, but there's a long way to go.